Hey y'all, hey. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Merry Vlogmas. Today is day, hold on. We're gonna tell you what today is. Today is day 22 of Vlogmas. Y'all, we have, what, two more days left until the end of Vlogmas? Like, I made it. I did it. Might as well say it right now, your girl did it. Pat on the back. Hey. <laughs> so anyways, today is a video discussing anxiety. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Okay, so you know how I like to feature a beverage in these kind of chit chat videos? And today's beverage that I'm featuring or drink is this eggnog, spiked eggnog. This is a traditional holiday eggnog wine cocktail. I purchased this from Costco. You can see that, yeah, some of it's gone. It's good. Let me just say that off back. It's delicious. It's so good. And if you remember in my holiday treat taste testing video I did, we did have eggnog in that video, non-alcoholic, and it was nasty. I didn't like it, Eric didn't like it, it was nasty. But honey, this wine cocktail eggnog, oh my god. It's so flavorful, it's so, so, so freaking good. Disclaimer, this stuff is strong, it's strong. So they have, I guess they have two kinds. They have this one, the wine cocktail, and then they have one that says liqueur on it. But honey, this don't taste like wine. It tastes like there's vodka in it. I don't get no hints of wine, honey. This is eggnog and vodka. Okay. But it's really, really good. Just really strong. So I would highly recommend drinking this maybe on the rocks, um, on some ice, or doing it like me and doing little eggnog shots. I prefer it this way. I don't taste the alcohol as much as I would if I was sipping on it. And it leaves a little nice little sweet aftertaste to it. I like it. So, yep, that's what we're drinking on today. So, go ahead, grab you a drink. It could be alcohol beverage. It could be non-alcohol beverage. It could be some hot cocoa. It could be some wine. It could be some water. Do you, boo. Okay, and then we'll get into today's topic. Okay, so, like I said, today's topic is about anxiety. First question. Who has anxiety or knows someone with anxiety? Raise your hand. <laughs> yes, anxiety. Oh my gosh. So I guess I'll give you like a little backstory about myself and when I noticed my anxiety. So it was about seven years ago now. Yes, about seven years ago. Um, I noticed my anxiety was starting and at the time I didn't know it was anxiety so what was going on is that I would be driving in a car every single time I came to like a red light my heart started pounding my palms started getting sweaty I kind of feel like a fog was coming over me um, I thought my vision was getting blurry if I was panicking basically so all the symptoms you would get when you panic aka a panic attack right um my breathing was getting really shallow uh, i just felt like i was about to pass out and that was happening every single time i came to like a red light or had to stop in traffic also i noticed it when i was standing in the line of stores that feeling would all of a sudden come over me as well um, I remember just wanting to guzzle down water for some reason, which I found out why later um, on in life. And I will explain to you why that kind of helped as well. But yeah, um, I was getting freaked out because I didn't know what was going on. So I started going to the doctor, taking all kind of like heart tests because that's where I would feel it, like in my heart. My heart would just start pounding and I felt like I couldn't really breathe, right? So I thought something was wrong with my heart. So I'm going to the doctor, taking all these different type of heart tests. Um, everything was coming back normal. 
I was taking all kind of blood tests. Everything was coming back normal. Um, so I kind of tried to just look the other way and not really think about it. And the one thing that took me over the edge and really made me take it serious is when um, I was in the store with my son and he was, let me see, about maybe four years old. Um, we were in the store, we was at Target, in line, checking out, the check-in outline, and I started to feel that uh, panic attack come along. And I remember just grabbing his hand, getting on the line, going to the next line over where they had like the refrigerator with drinks. I grabbed the water out of it and started guzzling down the water without even paying for it. It was just crazy. Um, and then I checked out um, all my items that I purchased, went home. As soon as I walked in the door, started bawling. Um, I lived with my mom at that time and I kind of was explaining to her what happened. And I was freaked out because I just kept thinking, what if I passed out and I had my son right there? You know, so that's kind of what really uh, made me go deeper into figuring out what was happening. Um, and then fast forward a little bit, I was diagnosed with anxiety. Um, I was taking a very low dosage of anxiety medication that actually really helped. And I remember when the first time I was in a car and we came to a red light, I kind of felt like that panic attack was coming on, but then it slowly just went away. And then the next time I was at a red light, I didn't feel as much. Next time, didn't feel it at all, and so on and so on. So um, the medication really worked for me, and that was like the fastest way to get my anxiety under control that I knew about at that time. Um, so, you know, some months, a couple years went by, and I felt like I had it, you know, under control. So I slowly started to take myself off of the medication. Um, and then the panic attacks kind of like weren't as severe, but I was still getting anxiety. So I wanted to figure out some more natural ways to kind of deal it with my anxiety and to get through it and also to understand it. So I started, um, therapy and that was the best thing ever. It didn't last long because it was conflicting with my work schedule, unfortunately, but I went long enough to really get a grasp of my anxiety and to understand it which i appreciate so 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 much um so back to the water i learned that drinking like cold water kind of shocks your body back into reality which helps um, alleviate your anxiety so almost like the same technique is focusing on deep breaths you know you're focusing on your breaths and you're counting that kind of helps with anxiety so it's like the same thing so I was like, that's why I always wanted water when I was freaking out or in crazy situations. It all makes sense, right? So um, currently, um, yes, I still have anxiety. I don't think anxiety ever goes away, but you learn how to manage it and then you um, become more comfortable because you know exactly what it is and what those feelings are and you know that it's not going to harm you and you can get through it you just have to like breathe through it and like calm yourself down so that's where I am kind of like right now I like I said I definitely still have anxiety but I'm not having like panic attacks if that makes sense okay sorry I had to change my battery um so yeah, so that's like the backstory with my anxiety and kind of where I am now. I guess next let's talk about how it kind of still affects me today. So here how here's how my anxiety show face because she be popping up and she ain't welcome for one thing. And I be trying to keep her in check, but sometimes, you know, she began in my head. Um I get anxiety when I think about being on an airplane and traveling away from my like safe zone. That's something that I need to get in check because I'm, you know, it's getting a little safer outside and I'm ready to start traveling again. I want to travel so bad and I don't know when this anxiety started with traveling because I actually, actually I do know, it started after I traveled to Paris and it probably was the long, long, long plane ride that kind of, 
you know, started it. Um, I was fine on that flight. Didn't have any bad experiences or anything like that. But then I realized um, when I came back and then I wanted to go somewhere again. I actually went up, got on a plane and went to Arkansas. I had anxiety. Now, even thinking about getting on a plane, even if it's an hour, two hours away, freaks me out a little bit. So that's something that I definitely want to work on. Um, social anxiety is real. That's another thing. I want to get out there and make new friendships and meet new people and things like that. But the anxiety gets in the way. Like, tell me if this is you, okay? If you experience the same thing. Someone asks you to hang out. You finally, after like analyzing the situation and really thinking about it, overthinking about it, you finally agree to go. And then from the moment that you agree to go up until the moment that you actually meet the person where you guys are going, anxiety. <laughs> That's me. I always freak myself out. I think about ways how I can get out of the situation, how I can like cancel on the person. But like deep down, I really want to go. <laughs> like I really want to go and make it a point to strengthen relationships that I have now. And like I said, to make new friendships, right? So, but once I get there, I'm fine. Like I have the best time ever, always. Conversation is always great. Event is always great. Company is always great. Everything is so fine. And then once I, I leave and come back home to my safe space, I feel so accomplished. Like, I feel so good about myself and I'm super hyped up and I'm ready to plan like for the next um, outing or event or whatever until I get to that day again and it's anxiety again. Like, it's such a battle and a struggle. But um, I don't know, that's something that I definitely want to work on going into the new year. But yeah, comment below if you go through the same thing because it's anxiety. She ain't cute for one. She, she, she blocking me. She blocking my opportunities. I don't like it. So, uh, but yeah, so if you, like, if you have anxiety too, you know what? We need to motivate each other. Okay, just to get out there and one, live our lives and two, not let anxiety hinder us from any goals that we have, um, anything that we want to do in life. Don't let it limit the person who we want to become. Like we really need to just support each other and be there for each other and make this, uh, this, my, this platform another safe space, right? And part of me like feels that's why I like when I meet other people who kind of have like anxiety or slight anxiety because they understand. Like they understand if I got to cancel on you because I just, I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling like <laughs> stepping out um, and it's giving me anxiety. Like I feel like they will understand. Or if I don't want to be around a lot of people, I feel like they will understand. And vice versa, I will understand too. Um, it's all about being comfortable, but I also want someone who kind of would take me out of my comfort zone a little bit to help me get used to fighting through my anxiety, if that makes sense. A great example would be one thing that used to give me major anxiety, panic attacks, was driving on the freeway. I, like I said, I said this in my 50 random facts about me video. I didn't start driving until I like, really actually driving until I was like 19, I believe. So I was a late starter and I didn't start driving on the freeway even like a few years after that. And I would avoid the freeway at all costs. Like your girl was taking back roads. I don't care if it took me 10 minutes on the freeway and 45 minutes in the back road i'm taking that 45 minute trip on the back road like it was a little ridiculous it was for sure embarrassing but i couldn't help how i felt and then i met someone who lived in another city than i did um so i had to get on the freeway like if i wanted to go hang out with that person and actually go to them 
um, I had to get on the freeway. I didn't want it to be that they were always coming to me, you know, because that ain't fair either. So um, I started just driving on the freeway, taking my time, not really caring about the drivers around me, if I was irritating them or not. I didn't care. You know, I'm staying in a slow lane, staying away from merging cars at the same time. <laughs> And luckily, it was like a shorter distance. It wasn't a really bad drive, but I would just practice and keep doing that drive over and over again. And then I became comfortable because one, I was doing it so much. And two, I knew exactly where I was going and what that section of the free freeway was going to look like. So I became extremely confident in driving on the freeway to um, that destination. And then once I mastered that, I started going a little bit further out. Then I started taking my son with me and driving with him a little further out. And then before you knew it, your girl was driving on a freeway for like a two hour trip to the airport when I was in California. I think it was even longer than that, but I did it and I felt so good, so accomplished. So now I still get a little antsy on the freeway just a little bit just a little bit like I still need my water bottle on the side but I don't have panic attacks and I don't have like major anxiety so that was one thing I overcame and I feel like if I can overcome that then I can like overcome other things I can overcome the social anxiety I can overcome the traveling anxiety um and things like that so I feel like I can do it I just have to keep or we just have to keep saying in our head you know, what we're feeling is anxiety. It's okay. It's going to pass. We're not going to die. We're going to live. We're not going to pass out. We're going to get through this and we'll be fine. I just keep playing that over and over and over again in our heads. That's also something that kind of helped me as well. Another thing that helped um, is avoiding situations that give you anxiety to a certain extent because you don't want to avoid those situations to the point where you're not doing anything like you're not doing things that are fun for you or that benefits growth um or prevents you just from like blossoming and developing and getting out there and having amazing experiences um but some stuff you can avoid like if you have anxiety with like getting lost or something like that um make sure you're looking at your directions make sure you're on um what is it map quest not map quest that was that's old <laughs> did i just show my age because i said map quest but make sure you're looking at the gps there we go looking at the gps making sure you're looking at the satellite as at surrounding areas or making sure you know like landmarks and things like that that is doing things to prevent you from having anxiety um, when traveling to like unfamiliar areas so there's a lot of things you can do talk to a oh my god like interrupting talking to a therapist talking to friends and family um, choosing the type of people that you want to be around, like the people who you feel comfortable um, expressing your anxiety to. And because that could be another thing, being around people where you feel like you have to hide your anxiety or you're embarrassed about your anxiety just gives you more anxiety. Okay, so yeah, avoid that. Um, being prepared avoiding certain situations or preparing for certain situations drinking ice water <laughs> or anything like that yeah so it's all up to the individual person and what you can do to kind of help with that um but i think the main point is just not letting it hinder you from being you and from growing but yeah so that was just like a short child i didn't even so I have one of these, but I need to have the second one and maybe another one after that. But yes, that is it for today's video. Comment below if you have any tips on how to get through anxiety, um, any stories, anything like that. Go ahead and comment it below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for sitting down with me today and just casually chatting 
you know, about life. Maybe I should do another video about goals or something like that. Like, I need some more topics. So if you have any topics for these Let Talk With Me videos, leave them below. And don't forget to like this video. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Oh, my God. Like, we're almost done. I just, I keep realizing that. We're almost done with Vlogmas. I'm, I'm going to miss it a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, bye, you guys.